Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even if my feelings grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got talk, that is real cheap but it's really gold cost I'm trying to get these ends, building bios with my friends I'm about handling my business, no TV Everything I say in this video is alleged, it is in my opinion and it is for entertainment purposes only Hello YouTube family, it's DeMarie TV Please like, comment, and subscribe to the video, you guys. I'm new to YouTube. Every like and subscribe that I get, it helps me get higher in the algorithm. And I always forget to ask you guys in the front of the video and I wait till the end and I miss it. <laughs> so would you please do me a huge favor and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Here we go. Hey, DeMarie TV family. I'm coming to you with some sad news today. Um, Tafari Campbell is the sous chef to President Obama and Michelle Obama. He was with them in the White House. Um, he was their sous chef there. And then when they departed from the White House after President Obama's term was over, um, he stayed with the family when they moved into uh, private life. So apparently, um, Tafari, who was 45 years old, um, he was visiting Martha's Vineyard and was found um, just before 10 a.m. today in the Edgartown Great Pond. Um, he went and there was another person on the water at the time that watched him go under and he was paddle boarding without a life jacket and he did not make it. So here is a news clip kind of giving you um, the up-to-date information on what happened and where we are today. So, here you go. Died on Martha's Vineyard. His body was found near a pond near the Obama home after a paddle boarding trip. All right, David Wade back in studio tracking details that are still coming into our newsroom, David. Yeah, Chris, the Obama family says they're grieving tonight the loss of Tafari Campbell. On Sunday, Martha's Vineyard police say they got a call about a man who went under the water in Edgartown's Great Pond. Another paddleboarder actually saw it unfold but was un unable to get to him. State police say emergency crews spent hours searching for Campbell but sadly recovered his body this morning. The Virginia man worked at the White House as a sous chef and in this official video was seen working on brewing an official beer for 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Now, President Obama offered Campbell a job to work for his family when his he was leaving the White House and Campbell took it. In a statement tonight, President Obama said, Tafari was a beloved part of our family. When we first met him, he was a talented sous chef at the White House, creative and passionate about food and its ability to bring people together. In the years that followed, we got to know him as a warm, fun, extraordinarily kind person who made all of our lives a little bit brighter. By the way, the Obamas were not at the home at the time. Tafari Campbell was married with twin boys. The investigation into his death continues. Chris. All right, David. Tafari leaves behind um, his wife, Sharice Campbell, and they have two twin boys, Xavier and Savin Campbell. And it's unclear how old the boys are um, or whether they were with Campbell on Martha's Vineyard when he died. But I am sure he will be deeply missed uh, by his family and the Obamas. My condolences to all. Um, very sad story. You know, it's, um, it's a really tragic situation. Um, this was a family man. Um, he served not only President Obama, but also the Bushes in the White House. So um, definitely a loss um, for everyone involved. Um, if you guys have any comments, please feel free to comment below and have a good evening.